Hi, I'm Adam DeYoung, Director of Marketing at CTMLS. Thanks for joining us for our first ever CTMLS Skills Workshop, How to Take Great Photos. Recently, we joined Bruce Peter of Bruce Peter Media at a property that he was taking photos at for a client. He walked us step by step through what he does to take great photos for the MLS and offered some tips and tricks for what you could do with a point and shoot camera that you might have. We also want to thank Tim, our realtor on the property of Executive Real Estate, for walking us through some of the challenges that he faced when shooting the property. Okay, so now we're inside the kitchen, and uh, Bruce, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, what you would recommend a realtor do before they even break out their camera? Well, the first thing I think a realtor should do, and, and it's no different than what we do, yeah. is we develop a shot list. So when a realtor calls us and asks us to go and do a shoot, you know, I ask them, what are the areas that are important to you? Right. You feel are going to really help this house stand out. So that question they need to have in the back of their mind if they're going to shoot the house themselves. You know, there's only 25 photos that you can use. Right. And, you know, in today's uh, market, you really want to focus on the best elements of the home to draw the interest. Of course, it's an extra step. Right. But it's an important extra step, especially when you consider going online and you get those first four photos that really try to sell the house. If somebody's going to only look at those first four photos, they got to be grabbed enough to go, want to go in and look a little more deeply into the, the rest of the photos. Right? That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Right. You know, I think that's that's key. And, and you, you know, the only way to do that is to pre-plan. Right. Okay. So we've talked to the homeowner here, and also the realtor. We talked to Tim as well, and they gave us their hot buttons. What were their hot buttons for this property? Well, naturally, where we're standing, the kitchen, <laughs> sure. the kitchen is probably the the biggest area for them. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's actually a very nice kitchen, custom cabinets. Um, the other area that they had was the, uh, the living room with the fireplace that they just had redone and beautiful spacious deck outside that um, is great for entertaining that they really want to focus on. So those are kind of the three areas that we're going to target um, in our shop list and you know work on those areas and everything else will uh, fall into place. Okay, sounds great. So create that shot list. And uh, the next time we're going to talk about lighting, which is a really important feature uh, to getting good photos. So thanks, Bruce. No problem.